Well, the Lord has certainly blessed us this past few days, mm -hmm. having the eyes of our understanding enlightened mm -hmm. into the mystery of Christ. He has continued to be faithful to do that which He said He would do. Yes. Amen. And I ask for grace to continue to to look into these these mysteries of Christ. See, mm -hmm. from a, I will I will look at this from a, from a, another perspective. There's, this is this is a very wide or a very large room that we have entered mm -hmm. into when we're, yeah. we're contemplating the mysteries of Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. What I want to speak to you today is this this matter concerning <clears throat> the very person of the Lord Jesus Christ. His very person, the Son of God, the Son of Man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, this is this is this is shown throughout the Scripture as as a mystery, and that's what we'll look into. Mm -hmm. now, and before we get to the text <clears throat> that I'll be ministering, I want to I want to lay a foundation here of, from the very words of mm -hmm. Jesus. What mm -hmm. Jesus said concerning this this mystery, he said this <clears throat> in Matthew eleven twenty seven. He said, "No man, no man." Knoweth the Son, mm -hmm. but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. And he, to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Amen. Amen. See, so here, here is the here is the the foundation mm -hmm. of the of this matter of the mystery of Christ. Yeah. Uh -huh. No man, he said, yeah, knoweth right. him. Yeah. Amen. But see, there's good news. He declares. He said, and to whomsoever he shall reveal him. Amen. See, this is this is going, brother. This is going to be a mighty work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not this is not this attainment to the knowledge of God and His Son Jesus Christ, as as we have said, is not going to be attained through through the matter of men's involvements in in their learning and mm -hmm. their study, but they are going to be involved in this. We mm -hmm. won't make no mistake about this. But yeah. see, this is going to be. Shown as a mighty work of God uh -huh. through Jesus Christ. Amen. And so from that I I want to say that this matter of that he himself, see we're talking about the person of Jesus Christ himself, that he himself is a secret thing that belongeth unto the Lord our God. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus also said this. Mm -hmm. He said, The Father loveth the Son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See now this this is this expression that the Father loveth the Son is that He is very precious unto the Father. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's very precious unto yeah. the Father. Mm -hmm. He is He is Him that He's kept close to Him. Mm -hmm. He is the one who is kept hidden in Himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is laid up in store with Himself and sealed up among His treasures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, He's spoken of as a treasure, and even in the in the Corinthian. Announcement of God who said He had who had shined the light, mm -hmm. has shined light into our hearts, to, to that we might know the knowledge of the Son of God. He has given us this mm. this knowledge. And in the very next verse, He says, "We have this treasure." Mm -hmm. See this not this matter of the knowledge of the Son and of His Father. See is a, is likened unto a treasure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a treasure that's held close, mm -hmm. yeah. held fast, Amen. because it's of its value, mm -hmm. because of its beauty, mm -hmm. because of its glory. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the Gospel goes on to say, and yet, and yet, in, among, even in this most glorious and, and treasured possession of God, God would determine mm -hmm. to show Him. He would show Him whom the Father loveth. Yeah. Even the testimony of his mouth, of his own mouth. God would give a testimony from his own mouth mm. when there came a voice to him from the excellent glory, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God was beginning to give a, this testimony of how he looked upon his Son. Mm -hmm. I'm well pleased in him. Amen. Mm -hmm. I love my Son. Amen. Yeah. Even from the, the very beginning, even before the foundations of the world, mm -hmm. the Father's soul delighted in Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And there's things that are revealed in the scriptures of the prophets, revealing that we are given we are given some of these glimpses of what this, this rare glimpses they are into this fellowship that the Father had with the Son, mm -hmm. even before the worlds were. 
In that we are here we are showing though that God is revealing unto him that he's purposed peace for men. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that he's purposed reconciliation mm -hmm. with men and redemption. Mm -hmm. And that they would be made righteous in him. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, so God from the beginning, before mm -hmm. the before the worlds were formed, mm -hmm. was begin was showing the Son. Yes. Mm -hmm. Showing the Son what he had purposed. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said these very words. For the Father loveth the Son, mm. and showeth him all things yeah. that Amen. he doeth. Amen. Mm -hmm. He was revealing, he was showing forth this eternal purpose mm. that he had purposed in Christ Jesus. That it would be by him, and through him, and in him. See, he would be the main, he is the main one mm -hmm. in God's eternal purpose. See, for, the, for God did nothing apart from the Son. Amen. He showed him all things. Because the Father is well pleased with him. Mm -hmm. Because the Father loveth the Son. See, this, these are these are things we want we want to get we want to get these words of Jesus into our into our hearts and minds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, because they, they show things, they reveal things Amen. about God and about his son mm -hmm. and about that purpose which he has purposed in him. Mm -hmm. See this this matter of the announcement of God. That he is well pleased with his son mm -hmm. is the very solid foundation for our amen. salvation. Yes. Amen. Yeah, amen. Uh -huh. And when the word humbled himself and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men, mm. the Father was well pleased with him. Yeah. Yes. He even sent forth heavenly hosts yeah. yes, amen. into the world to announce good tidings yes, of amen. bad uh -huh. things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the days of his flesh, as Jesus went about preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, doing good and healing all that were oppressed by the devil, the scripture tells us, for God mm. was with him. Yeah. Mm. That's a revelation mm. that God is well pleased with the Amen. Son. Amen. He was with him. He, yeah. God was with him Amen. as he was doing these mighty and wonderful things. Mm. Again, it's revealing He's well pleased with them. Mm -hmm. See, these are these are actual accounts that are recorded for us in the Scripture, but they are they are showing us something here, something about God mm -hmm. and about His fellowship with His Son. He's loveth the Son. Amen. 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 He's testifying. See, God God Himself is testifying about this divine fellowship with the Son. Mm -hmm. And when God made Him to be sin for us who knew no sin. When his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree mm -hmm. and tasted death for every man, God proclaimed once again, this is my beloved son yes. in whom I am well pleased. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he demonstrated that in a most unique and glorious manner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He raised him from the dead. Amen. Amen. Never to die again. Yeah, right. Amen. And gave him glory. The gospel continues to declare this, this glory and the power of his resurrection and of God being well pleased with him. Mm -hmm. The gospel announces that Jesus ascended into heaven and the Father received him. And he set him down at his own right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. Mm -hmm. And he had given to Jesus all power and all riches and wisdom and strength and honor, and glory, and blessing. And he had given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and of things in earth, and things that are under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the yeah. glory of God Amen. the Father. Amen. He has set up far above all principality, and power, mm -hmm. and might, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this world, mm -hmm. now, listen to this, but also into that which is to come. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, this is revealing the eternal purpose of God. Mm -hmm. See, He has an eternal purpose in Christ. Yeah. See, that's mm -hmm. the message. Him, mm -hmm. Him, He is that, that focal point, if you will, yes. of God's eternal purpose. Amen. Amen. He's making known that I am well pleased with my son. Mm -hmm. God's, God is a God who declares and he is a God who affirms mm -hmm. that, uh, this about Jesus. 
he's given us a record. Mm -hmm. yeah. A record of his son. Mm -hmm. yeah. This the record that we have is a record of his son. Mm -hmm. Recording this truth even before the worlds were formed. And continuing that truth through the days of his flesh. And God will continue to do this even after the heavens pass away with a great noise and the elements melt with fervent heat. Mm -hmm. Mm. I want you to hear this. No, this is noteworthy to hear. That the heavens are passing away mm -hmm. and all the elements are going yeah. to melt with Amen. fervent heat, mm -hmm. but not men. Mm -hmm. This is not determined for men. Yeah, uh -huh. For these are the ones that God is revealing His beloved Son to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's a continuation of that eternal purpose yeah. to those who are seeing Him. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Now, see, they're, they're, these things are determined by God. I want to make this point too. These, they're, they're, there's a determination of God and His purpose. There's also a time yeah. to affect that purpose. Mm -hmm. when that, the, 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 the working of that purpose will be worked out. And so before the present heavens and the earth pass away, it says the earth and the sea shall give up the dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all that are in the graves shall hear His voice mm -hmm. and shall come forth. But they that have done good under the resurrection yeah. of life. But they that have done evil hmm. unto the resurrection of damnation. Amen. These are things that Amen. must be considered as well in this yeah. life. Yes. Mm. And then we enter this time after the judgment. This mm. is this is what we want to we want to be mindful of this matter of after the judgment. Where are you going to be after hmm. the judgment? Amen. When the judgment is accomplished. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Then, mm. upon the new heavens and the new earth, and into the ages to come, God's revealing of Him being well pleased with His beloved Son will continue on. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God's people, the saints, who have been made ready for this glorious working of God, mm -hmm. the full revealing mm -hmm. of God's beloved Son. Amen. For we will be partakers of God's being well pleased mm -hmm. with His Son. Yeah. We're being, we're, we're, let's see, because He's well pleased with Jesus, yeah. all those that are in Christ, Amen. He's well pleased with. Yeah. Amen. And, and the ages to come, yeah. see, Amen. these things will be opened up Amen. fully Amen. to the people of God. Amen. These are some of the things that I desire to minister to you unto this day, brother, mm. concerning the mystery of Christ. Mm that God has not determined him to remain a mystery unto mm, men. Yeah. Mm. That's right, that's right. God has purposed the showing of him to a people, mm -hmm. to a peculiar people. Mm. But that showing must now begin in this life. Mm -hmm. See, if you want to continue on into the full revelation in the ages to come, you must behold the Son now mm -hmm. in this life. But also, it is also preparing us. See this working that God is doing in us? It's preparing us for what is to come in the ages to come. Yeah. This matter of, we only see in part now. Mm -hmm. But, there's a promise of fullness to come. Mm -hmm. yeah. The full glory of God's beloved Son, see, is of such an immense magnitude that time as men know it is not sufficient under God's desired end. Amen. Time, the entirety of time is not sufficient unto showing forth the full glory of His beloved Son. Amen. Right. To show forth the revelation of His greatness, of His glory, and of His triumph. Yeah. God mm -hmm. has set aside the ages to come mm -hmm. for that. This is found in Ephesians, the second chapter. <clears throat> As the Apostle opens up this matter of the deadliness of sin, and of our participation in it. He opens up this, this matter of, mm -hmm. of this working of God mm -hmm. through Christ Jesus. There would come a turning point, but God. Mm -hmm. There will be a turning point from this matter of, of men's being dead in trespasses and sins. Mm -hmm. But God. See, the apostles were always would, would always begin by focusing God's people on God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The solid foundation, 
solid foundation. God, this is God's working. This is God's mm -hmm. doing. God has purposed this, and God is doing this. So if you want to, if you want to build, so we want to build something concerning the mysteries of Christ into the revelations of the mysteries of Christ. You have got to start with a solid foundation. Amen. Amen. The apostles, see, these are ones who declare this. Amen. But God, yes. but God, we're talking about the God who declares the end yeah. from the beginning. Amen. Amen. There's, there's the foundation. Mm -hmm. It's God who's doing this. And here's some of the things that are revealed about God. He is rich in mercy. Mm. For the great love wherewith He loved us, that, that mercy and love is going to be demonstrated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's announced about the truth of who God is. He is merciful and He, is a, he has a great love wherewith He loved us. Mm -hmm. And that love has been demonstrated. It's demonstrated when we were dead in sins. Mm -hmm. When we were dead in sins, He had quickened us together yeah. with Christ. See, there's, that, there's, the, there's that joining. It's this mm -hmm. joining that God is doing in salvation as we have heard, is never going to be separated from, what Je yeah. from the person of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. Himself. From the very person of Jesus Himself. Amen. He quickened us together with, with Christ. Christ. Amen. By grace, ye are saved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, I love that word and in the scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's like as if you're, you're, you're given to see something about the glory of God. Mm -hmm. And then he, he says, and mm -hmm. shows you some more glory. Yeah. It's like you're, you're going from glory to glory. Mm -hmm. So he's quickening you together in Christ. By grace you are saved. Great news, glorious news. Mm -hmm. And he hath raised us up together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he has made us sit together in heavenly places in, in Christ Amen. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And as glorious as an announcement this is, this is not the end of it. Mm -hmm. yes. Through these, through these small, short verses here, we are, we are given to see much about God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, are seeing, we are given to see much about God who purposes. Yeah. And we are given to see a God who accomplishes that which He purposed. Yeah. Yeah. We are seeing a God who prepares. Yes. See, this working of God is readying the people of God. Mm -hmm. It's preparing the people of God for what is yet to come. Mm -hmm. So now He's quickened us together with Christ. Mm -hmm. Glorious, glorious, brethren. And He's raised us up together with Him. And He's made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ for what is to follow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. That in the ages to come, He might show. There's God's God. He's going to show. This is, this is our God. He's a, he's a showing God. He's mm -hmm. a revealing God. The exceeding riches of His grace and His kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. The ages to come have been determined and appointed by God for these things to occur precisely as He hath determined them. Amen. As He has purposed them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As He has desired them. And this will begin <clears throat> through my second text I want to bring to you from 1 Timothy 6. Mm -hmm at the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. When our Lord Jesus Christ appears again in the fullness of His glory, with all the glory of the angels, with all the glory of His Father, at the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which in His times, yeah. His times, mm -hmm. Amen. He shall show Amen. who is the blessed and the only potentate, mm -hmm. the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And in that marvelous showing, see, this will be a glorious show, a full revealing of the in Christ Jesus to some that will be marvelous in their eyes. Amen. Mm, Amen. This is the this is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. yeah. The full revealing of the Son of God mm -hmm. to the Son of Man. Amen. See, the showing of God's beloved <coughs> extends from the very purpose mm. of God Himself. It's from God's will. In God's determination unto an end. Mm -hmm. That in all things Jesus mm -hmm. may have the preeminence. Yeah, amen. Amen. He's lifting up amen. the Son. In all things He would have the preeminence. Amen. In His times. This is, this is God talking about mm -hmm. His times. Yeah. God has determined His times 
that he will have the preeminence in all things. Mm -hmm. For he is worthy of it. Mm -hmm. See, God is showing, he's, he's showing us now that he's worthy of this. He's not extending this honor and glory and preeminence just to anyone. It's for him that is worthy of it. And he's declaring Amen. that this is my beloved son in Amen. whom I am well pleased. Amen. Well pleased. Sometimes we do consider the greatness of God's salvation from only our perspective. Mm -hmm. Having to do with the benefits which we receive from it. And, and, and I, I'm not minimizing that, brother. Please, please mm -hmm. understand me. I'm not minimizing that because this, the scriptures are, are full mm -hmm. of these these, these promises and these benefits that the people of God receive. There are many great, exceeding, precious promises realized in salvation mm -hmm. unto us or who believe. But there is an even higher working of God in salvation. The revelation of the full greatness mm -hmm. and the glory and the triumph of His beloved Son, Amen. in whom He is well pleased. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Brethren, salvation most definitely is a manifestation that the saints of God are blessed of God and mm -hmm. by God with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. But the apostle is very quick to point out the location of that reception. Mm -hmm. It's in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's the main focus. The main focus is Christ Jesus. In Him. Mm -hmm. See? In Him is the, is the focus. And while there are these exceeding great and precious promises made, all the promises of God are in Him. Mm -hmm. Yea, yeah. and in amen. Him, amen, mm -hmm. to the glory of God amen. by us. Amen. So the reception of them are vital to us. Mm -hmm. yes. It's vital unto the, the glorifying of God as we mm. receive them. Yeah. But see, that the, the, the main announcement is they're in Christ. Mm -hmm. The only access to them is in Christ Jesus. And on that day of judgment, the scripture tells us, every knee shall bow to him. Mm -hmm. Every knee. Mm -hmm. And confess to him that he is Lord. Because God will show him in his fullness as he already is. Mm -hmm. I want to make that point now. He's not waiting to become the beloved mm -hmm. and the only potentate, the King of kings yes. and the Lord of lords. He is. Amen. Amen. He is already. Amen. Amen. But see, not all men see it. Mm -hmm. Not all see it. So in order to be eternally, I'm talking about eternally benefited mm -hmm. by your submitting to Jesus on that day, the bowing and the confessing must start now. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Only those who bow now and confess now are going to realize the eternal benefits mm. of Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. God has determined and set the ages to come in order to accomplish this full revelation of His beloved. It's in His times. Mm -hmm. These are the appointed times when the fullness of, of Jesus is going to be revealed. The ages. Mm. Ages to come. Yeah. Amen. These are His times when the Lord alone shall be exalted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, not, now, not all men have faith in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Not all neither believe in Him nor trust in Him. Or even know him. But that will be changed forever mm. at his appearing when all shall see him as he is. Yes, amen. But again, not all are going to be benefited there. Every knee is going to bow. Every knee. This, the, the, every creature, every creature, angels, principalities, powers, dominions, mm. the things that are seen and even the ones that are not seen now, mm -hmm. they're all going to bow before Jesus mm -hmm. and confess that He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. Amen. But those who are acknowledging that now, see, mm -hmm. they're, they're going to have eternal benefits continuing on for them. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, all, all times, all times are a point of God, mm -hmm. as are the performances of those things which He has purposed. Mm -hmm. He has determined them, and He shall also bring them to pass. Amen. In His times, mm -hmm. God's purpose times, they're going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. As there is a purpose for everything under heaven, there is also a time for the execution of that purpose, mm -hmm. which is known unto God that has fixed them. Mm -hmm. yeah. God has determined them, He's purposed them, He's bringing them to pass in the precise precision 
that he has purposed it. Mm -hmm. For all of his works are known unto him from the beginning of the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, while the times are hidden to man, mm -hmm. in their times of their performance, they're not hidden from the Almighty. Yeah. For they are determined by him. Amen. And God will perform his true showing of Jesus when he comes again. Amen. Yeah. When he comes again, this is going to be a, a wonderful revelation Amen. of God's beloved Son. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we want to reason. We want to reason on these things that God has revealed. By the mercies of God, even in, in preparation. See, God was preparing. God is preparing men for this for this full showing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He did that in preparation of his times. God would be at work among his people. Even from the times of old. Even from the times past. Even from the ancient times. God would be faithful to perform that work which he has desired to bring to a full fruition. He would do this even unto the latter times. And even unto the last times. See, God has given us a record mm -hmm. of His beloved Son. From the beginning of the record to its very end, God is testifying of His beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Of His greatness, the greatness of this man, and of His glory, and of God being well pleased with Him. From the very, even from the very first pages of the record. Mm -hmm. The record in Genesis, the very first chapter, God was testifying of his beloved. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, he's not mentioned. He may not, he's not mm -hmm. mentioned in the Genesis account. But in the fullness of time, God would reveal a secret thing concerning him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apostle John said this, In the beginning was the Word, mm -hmm. and the Word was with God, mm -hmm. and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Mm -hmm. All things were made by Him. Mm -hmm. And without Him was not anything made that was made. Mm -hmm. God revealing this. We talked mm -hmm. about this unfolding, this unfolding revelation that God is doing. Yeah. He, de he declared that creation from mm -hmm. the beginning. Amen. And here in, in, in the fullness of time, He begins to declare that, that the Word was with Him in all this. Mm -hmm. and this, 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 this declaring this fellowship between the Father and the Son. He, he was in there with Him. Mm -hmm. And he, all things were created by Him. Mm -hmm. And he goes on to say more as the, as the Gospel continues to open this matter up of this enduring in, in fellowship between the Father and the Son. And, and again, there's, there's, there's purpose. When, you, when, you, when, you, when the Scriptures are announced, you see that God's a God who's purposing. Mm -hmm. And that God's a God that's executing yeah. His mm -hmm. purpose yes. in His times. He goes on to say, By Him were all things created, that are in heaven, mm -hmm. and that are in the earth. Visible things that we can see, but there's yeah. also invisible things yeah. which we don't see now. Mm -hmm. He created them as well. Amen. Whether they be, thing, they be thrones, or dominions, or principalities, or powers, all things were created by Him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Affirms, but then there's something more He opens up. Mm -hmm. And they were created for, for Him. Amen. 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 That he might have the preeminence in all things. See, this is this is that purpose that God is, is working out in yeah. Christ Jesus. Amen. For the Father loveth the Son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's being demonstrated. See, it's being demonstrated in the working of salvation. Mm -hmm. More in this in the record. In the record that God has given mm -hmm. of his son. God himself had determined the times for like Moses. Remember when he said he determined the times and bounds of man's habitations? He said that in Acts. He determined the times and the bounds of Moses. Mm -hmm. And gave him a work to do in this great revelation of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. History tells us that he's, re he's credited with writing the first five books of the Bible. Yeah. He wrote the first five books. But it would be Jesus who would reveal who he was writing about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the fifth chapter of John, <clears throat> Jesus having a disputation with the Jews. Verse 44, he says, How can you believe which receiveth honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Mm -hmm. 
Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, mm -hmm. even Moses, in whom you trust. For had you believed Moses, mm. you would have believed me. Yes. For he wrote of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who knew this? Mm. See, the, the Lord from heaven was, was had come down to make known this matter of, of God's beloved. Mm -hmm. And the things that God had, had given in the testimony was a testimony of his son. Mm -hmm. Jesus opened up that truth that Moses wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, mm. how shall you believe my words? Yeah, that's Amen. right. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, God had determined and fixed this time for when Moses would be in the in the world, and not only Moses. See, this this is this is one that He has determined for all men. See, carnal men, they tout their knowledge and understanding of all things. Yet, man was totally incapable of knowing these things of Jesus. For all the things concerning God's beloved can neither be found out nor accounted for by man in his own ingenuity. Mm -hmm. For the Lord our God only knows them. For, for no man knoweth the Son save the Father. Mm -hmm. They are past finding out by the minds of men and canst by searching that find them out. Jesus affirmed this again in the days of his flesh. <clears throat> kind of quoting from Luke 10, 22. He says, All things, all things mm -hmm. are delivered to me and my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is mm -hmm. but the Father. Amen. And who the Father is but the Son, mm -hmm. and to whom the Son will reveal him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Not even of him whom Jesus testified, among those that are born of woman, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. Hear his testimony. Mm -hmm. This is recorded in the first chapter of John. Mm -hmm. John's own testimony bears out this concerning him not knowing the Son until it was revealed to him. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist we're talking about did not know the Son until it was revealed to him. Mm -hmm. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, mm -hmm. which taketh away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me, yeah. and I knew him not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what, what occurred now that he could make this glorious identification of Jesus? The behold, the Son of God, the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sin of the world. He says, but that he, Jesus, should be made manifest to Israel, therefore am I coming baptizing with water. Now here's, he's showing something here. Why, why was John baptizing? He bore record. John bare record and said, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove in an abode upon him, and I knew him not. But he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, mm. the same as he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost. Mm. Amen. See, God here, he was, he was preparing John. Mm -hmm. He was revealing John for what was going to occur mm -hmm. and identify this one upon yeah. whom the Spirit rested. Mm -hmm. Now this revelation, this revelation is not only for informational purposes. Mm -hmm. It is for declaration. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is for declaration. Mm -hmm unto salvation, yeah. unto eternal life. Mm -hmm. And here's what John said after this, after God's mighty working through all this. And I saw, John mm -hmm. says, and I bear record of this, that this is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So that which was revealed to him, see, was, was not just for, to, to, for him to know this, it was for him to declare this. Mm -hmm. For all men need to know him unto eternal life. See, flesh and blood did not reveal God's Son to John. Mm. It was the Lord our God, mm -hmm. the Father, who revealed it, the Son. Mm. Yeah, amen. To whomsoever He will, He reveals. We're seeing, we're seeing this truth being worked out in, in, the very, in the very world that God has created. Even though there are hidden things of the Lord, the secret things that belong to the Lord our God, 
God is also shown to be a God of gods, and a Lord of kings, and a revealer of mm. secret things. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Daniel 2.47. Amen. Brethren, there is a God in heaven mm -hmm. that revealeth secrets. Amen. Mm -hmm. Daniel 2.28. So yet God has devised these means, this means of the of the scripture. The scripture. Even the things that we've partaken of this week were in accordance to that means that God has mm -hmm. established. Mm -hmm. Unto the matter of knowing the mystery mm -hmm. or having an understanding. It's through the gospel. It's through the preaching of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And it's by the scriptures mm -hmm. of the prophets. Amen. The, that is the determined means by which God is giving understanding to His people. Mm -hmm. But it even goes beyond that. It goes beyond the means. It's the very heart and desire of God to do this. Mm -hmm. It's His very nature in person to reveal His beloved. Mm -hmm. It's His desire and it's His purpose and it's him that is working to do this. Mm -hmm. There are those that God has, and there are God. See, there these ones that and remember. Let's think about this. This this matter of God, the Father loving the Son, and I've been being very, very precious to Him. Mm -hmm. He's he's like a, a pearl of great price. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't send that pearl out everywhere. Mm -hmm. he, it's, he, he's chosen mm -hmm. those to whom the mysteries of Christ that he had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest, mm -hmm. it's to the saints. Amen. Mm -hmm. To the mm -hmm. saints. Amen. Mm -hmm. Those with blessed eyes and blessed ears. Mm -hmm. Behold our God. He's revealing God. See, through all this, God is revealing things here. Mm -hmm. He's revealing his faithfulness yeah. to do this very thing he said he was going to do. And in the record, in the very record, is the account of these things that happen. Mm -hmm. Remember, when God spoke to Abram concerning his eternal purpose, God was speaking about his eternal purpose even to Abraham. Yeah. Yeah. Through thy seed, all families of the earth shall be blessed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He spoke about the promises that he would fulfill through him. And the scripture saith, Abraham believed God. Amen. 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 And it was imputed unto him for righteousness, mm -hmm. and he was called the friend of God. Amen. James 2.23. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, how would God deal with someone who's been called the friend of God? Hmm. Mm -hmm. As the friend of God, would God hide from Abraham that thing which he does? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God forbid. He's beginning to open up this truth now of these ones, see, that are, that are believing him. He's not going to hide things from you. To Moses, unto whom the Lord spake unto face to face, as a man speaketh unto his friend. Exodus 33, 11. When Moses cried out unto God, Show me thy glory, God showed him his glory. Yeah. To David, a man after God's own heart, God found this one that he was looking for. Mm. Tender, a heart that was tender towards him, the tender-hearted David. And God was so endured to him that God revealed secret things unto him. He showed him his covenant. Mm -hmm. Even more, God gave him to speak of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Remember that? Mm -hmm. he, he announced that in, in Psalm 16. The apostle declared what he was truly speaking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That his soul, he's talking about Christ's soul, mm -hmm. was not left in hell, neither yeah. his flesh did see corruption. Mm -hmm. God revealing these things to those who believe in him. Mm -hmm. And to Daniel, called, O man, greatly beloved of God. Amen. Greatly beloved of God. When he had set his face unto the Lord to seek the working of his, of his mighty hand, in that moment... The commandment came down from the throne of the majesty in the heavens to the angel Gabriel. Mm -hmm. And he came forth to show forth him his request. Mm -hmm. and, the, and angel Gabriel's announcement to him was, Thou art greatly beloved. Yes. Mm -hmm. and what more shall I say? For time would fail me to tell of all the righteous mm -hmm. and dear to God men and women named, named in the scriptures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and to declare the wonderful and glorious things that were shown to them by God. Mm -hmm. Specifically, concerning the Christ of God. Mm -hmm. Of who He is, and what He would accomplish, and what He would continue to do, according to the eternal purpose that God has purposed in Him. See, all these are showing that God is, has a desire to reveal His beloved Son and the eternal purpose that He has purposed in Him. Mm -hmm. The record shows that God does so with those who are righteous mm -hmm. and those that are beloved of God. Mm -hmm. God does so because He wants to. Mm -hmm. For it is His nature to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that desire in working of God has not changed. For I, the Lord, changeth not. Mm -hmm. He sent forth the prophet Malachi to make this known. Even to us today. To take hold of this truth. For I, the Lord, changeth not. This is the good news that is declared to us, the saints Amen. of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, changeth not. Amen. And so Jesus said this. According to John 16. How be it, when the Spirit of truth is come, mm -hmm. He will guide you into all truth. Yes. For He shall not speak of Himself, but whatsoever He shall hear, that shall He speak. And He will show you things to come. And He shall glorify Me, for He shall receive of Mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore, said I, that he shall take of mine, and he shall show it unto you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Jesus would now open up the working of himself in order to effect this. The effectuality of your seeing is because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. right. He says, a little while, mm -hmm. and you shall not see me. But again, in a little while, you shall see me. Amen. Because yeah. I go to the Father. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. That little while mm -hmm. that, he was, that he was gone from their sight, from their physical sight, when he, yeah. when he ascended into heaven. Mm -hmm. And in those days between then and, and the days of Pentecost, mm -hmm. that was the little while. Mm -hmm. That was the little while they didn't see him. But when Jesus was glorified, that changed forever. Mm -hmm. He said, in that you shall see me, mm -hmm. because I go to the Father. Mm -hmm. And the promise of the Holy Spirit is when he sent, it was sent it forth when he, because he went to the Father. Mm -hmm. Because he was received of the Father. Mm -hmm. And he sent forth that spirit of promise unto God's people. Now the Apostle Peter had something to say about this on the, on the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. He said this in order to make it relevant to all saints, mm -hmm. because Jesus went to the Father. <clears throat> After his preaching, he had, he had made this known <clears throat> about what, what had occurred on the cross in his death and, and how the men there were, were in, involved in this. And he said, Therefore let all the house of Israel know surely that God has made this same Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Mm -hmm. Now when they heard this, mm -hmm. They were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Yeah. Now I'm thankful for these devout men that were there. Amen. That they interrupt Peter mm -hmm. and ask this question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the answer to this question continues to minister to God's people even mm -hmm. to this day. Mm -hmm. And Peter said unto them, Repent mm -hmm. and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. Yes. And mm. you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For this Amen. promise is unto you that are there. Mm -hmm. And to your children. Yeah. But also to all that are afar off. Amen. Amen. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Mm. Lastly, and finally, brother, I want to encourage your hearts today with this matter of the understanding that is given to all the saints. Yes. 
and that it is God's desire to share His heart and His mind with His people. Amen. Mm -hmm. The beloved of God. Remember how the Apostle Paul addressed the church at Rome? He said to the church at Rome, to all that be there, beloved of God. Mm -hmm. These things, the people of God need to be continually reminded of who they are in Christ Amen. Jesus. Amen. You are the beloved of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All, all that are there. Mm -hmm. Just lo love the way the apostle mm -hmm. declared this. The Holy Spirit moved him mm -hmm. to say it just this way. Mm -hmm. In order that it would continue to minister to God's people. Mm -hmm. To all. Mm. Not just certain ones, not just the minister, not just the deacons, not just the elders, to all Amen. that are there, mm -hmm. the beloved of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He also reminded the Corinthians, think of that, the Corinthians, yeah. that they are dearly beloved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. said that three times to them. They're dearly beloved. Mm -hmm. You see, there's an empowerment Mm -hmm. There's an empowerment by knowing who you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. He declared this unto them in order that they cleanse themselves in all filthiness of the flesh Amen. and of the Spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Amen. The Beloved, see? You want to act like the Beloved. Mm. Amen. Well, amen. Walk like the Beloved. Yeah. Amen. The Beloved of God. Amen. I'm speaking about titles here, mere titles. Mm -hmm. The apostle is announcing God's perspective of his people. Mm -hmm. This is God's perspective of his people. Of all that are in Christ Jesus. You're the beloved of God. Mm -hmm. I'll close with this. Unto God's people. An affirmation of the effectualness of God's working through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. He says, and we know, and we know, the Son of God is come and hath mm. given us an understanding. Mm. Amen. Amen. That we might know Him that is true, mm -hmm. and that we are in Him that is true, mm -hmm. even in His Son, Jesus mm. Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is the true God mm. and eternal life. Amen. 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 I'm open up to you, brother, for any I have some opening thoughts about Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul received a stewardship mm -hmm. from God, a ministry to the church. His commission was to make the Word of God fully known, mm -hmm. the mystery hidden for ages and generations, mm -hmm. but now revealed to his saints. To these saints, God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, mm -hmm. which is Christ in you, mm -hmm. the hope of glory. Amen. Because of Christ's putting away of sin and rising from the dead, every man, woman, or child who believes the gospel and is baptized into Christ has ex access mm -hmm. to God access to Christ and all the divine blessings that come with knowing mm. that. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Now there was a ruler that came to Jesus at night, Nicodemus by name, a Pharisee trained in Moses and the prophets, yet one who missed seeing the mystery of Christ mm. in you. Mm. Mm -hmm. He could not even see it, even as Jesus spoke it to mm. him. Yes. Truly, truly, I say unto you, Jesus said, unless one is born again, mm -hmm. or born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Nicodemus replied, how can a man be born when he is old? Mm -hmm. Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Well, Jesus was not speaking of being born of the flesh, mm -mm. but of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit yeah. of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The long-awaited promise <clears throat> of the Spirit which was spoken of in the prophets, but hidden from the understanding of the people. God must reveal this mystery as we yeah, established amen. this weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was revealed to good and honest hearts, whether Jew or Gentile. We have good hope that later Nicodemus would understand this, mm -hmm. for he was one of the men who took the Savior's body from the mm -hmm. cross. Mm -hmm. 
Now Jesus spoke to Nicodemus as if he, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> as if he should have understood the new mm -hmm. birth. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what had the prophet said about this? <clears throat> Peter affirmed <clears throat> that the prophets did indeed speak of the grace which should come to you. Mm -hmm. They searched and inquired carefully, inquiring what person or time the Spirit of God in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent yeah. glories. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's 1 Peter 1, 10 to 11, English Standard Version. Peter was also the first to quote from Joel, who prophesied mm -hmm. that in the last days God would pour out his yeah. spirit on mm -hmm. all yeah. flesh, Amen. Jew and Gentile. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he said, and on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sister. <clears throat> In effect, there are two mysteries here. Mm -hmm. Firstly, that the Holy Spirit should be given to them, mm -hmm. and secondly, mm -hmm. that it was for the Jews and the Gentiles. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Jeremiah testified of the new covenant uh, that God would make with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. God would do a work that had never been done before. Mm -hmm. God said, through Jeremiah, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, mm -hmm. and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Mm -hmm. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, mm -hmm. from the least of them to the greatest. Amen. 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 For I will forgive their iniquity. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I will remember their sins no more. Amen. 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 Ezekiel received this word from the Lord. I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of their flesh, and will give them a heart of flesh, that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances and do them, and they shall be my people, mm -hmm. and I will be their God. Amen. 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 Ezekiel 11, 19-20. And he repeated these promises again in chapter 36. We know that this promise included us because we have the witness of the Spirit within us. Mm -hmm. Isaiah seemed to receive the most revelation about the coming Messiah. After God spoke those wonderful words to Isaiah about his suffering servant, he gave this word to Israel through him, enlarge the place of thy tent, mm -hmm. let them, excuse me, it's just ministered to me this morning, it's really a blessing. Amen. 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 Let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Spare not, lengthen thy cords. Yes. Strengthen Amen. thy stakes, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, mm -hmm. and thy yeah. seed shall inherit the Gentiles. Mm. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Get ready, Israel. There's mm. more coming in. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Zechariah hinted of the Gentiles coming in when he spoke of the king that would come to Zion, saying, And he shall speak peace mm. unto the heathen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And his Amen. dominion shall be from sea even to sea, and from the river even to the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. Zechariah 9.10 Christ would rule in the hearts of men. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. What is Christ in you but life from the dead? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word mm -hmm. and believes him who sent me has eternal life. Yes. Amen. He does not come into judgment, but is passed from death to life. Mm -hmm. John 5, 24. <laughs> Jesus' earnest prayer to his Father was this, I in them, mm -hmm. and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one. Mm -hmm. He said, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, mm -hmm. Amen. and I in them. Mm -hmm. Amen. I in them, 
what glory. Amen. 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 The apostles consistently wrote about the reality and the necessity of the Spirit of Christ dwelling in the believer. Romans 8, 9, and 10. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Yes, amen. Amen. Now, if any man has not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Hmm. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because hmm. of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. Hmm. Hmm. He said to Corinth, Know ye not your own selves? Hmm. How that Jesus Christ is in you, yeah. except you be reprobates. Yeah. Amen. To Galatians, I am crucified with mm. Christ, nevertheless I live, mm. yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me mm -hmm. and gave himself for me. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And to Ephesus, that he, that is God, would grant to you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened by his spirit in the inner man, mm -hmm. that Christ may dwell in your heart mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. faith. Amen. 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 Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. Some translate this, Christ in you, your only hope of glory. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. certainly is true. Mm -hmm. There is no hope of obtaining glory either as a place or as a work of God in us, if we are not justified by His blood mm -hmm. and have the Spirit dwelling within us. Yes. Amen. He is our hope. Amen. He is the one we long for. Yeah. And He is the glory. Amen. 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 We see the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The purpose of Christ in you is to make you like Him. Amen. 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 <coughs> so hold on your way, brethren. It won't be long until yes. we shall be like Him. Amen. 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 We shall see Him as He is. Yes. Amen. 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 Am